Hi guys. Today I'm going to just show you some navigation skills in Excel. This is something that I, I haven't seen anybody focus on, but is extremely useful and builds up your confidence and lets you get things done a lot faster. So I'm just starting out with a blank worksheet here, and I'm going to just show five or six skills that can be learned in a matter of seconds or minutes that will be, make your life a lot easier if you're using Excel a lot. Okay, so first of all, resizing columns, right? We all know we can grab in between any column and resize that column, right? But do we know that if we can highlight the columns we're interested, resize any one point, and then all the ones that are highlighted will take that exact size? So I can grab any of these columns and resize, and they'll all change to that same width. And the same thing goes for rows. Highlight a bunch of rows, resize any one of the ones highlighted, and they'll all resize to that row. Okay? If there is something written here and it doesn't fit into this column and it drags over to that column, remember that it's in this cell, not in that cell and that cell. Okay? A lot of beginners make that mistake. So, one thing is we can resize by pulling or we can double click and Excel will best fit that cell. Okay, so it'll change the column width to best fit the biggest uh, text or or uh, numerical statement you have in any of these in any of this column. Okay, and the same thing kind of goes for rows, although that's very rare that you would do that for a row. Okay, so now another thing is we could click this top left corner over here and it highlights the entire worksheet which is useful if you want to copy and perhaps maybe paste a worksheet into a new page there's other ways to do that too but sometimes this is the most useful way Okay. another skill is inserting and deleting rows and columns okay so we could click on this column right click say insert and it'll push it over maybe I should write something right click and this will insert and push that column to the right and it'll insert a column new column D where the old D used to be okay same thing goes for the rows right click on the row number insert and it'll push it down what it did was it added a row okay now same thing can be done by delete for, in deleting a row right click on the row column number delete got rid of that whole column I can control Z very useful in Excel quicker than hitting undo if you get used to the uh, short keys delete a row right click delete okay control Z okay takes us back in time okay now down here lastly I'll show you I got a bunch of sheets open here I can drag sheets around and reorder them sheet 7 the one we were working in I can move it anywhere I want right I can double click on it and rename it and it'll take effect once I click off of it I can right click on it and there's some formatting options I can change the color say make it some kind of red move it back around I can entirely delete the whole sheet which it'll give me a warning for and I don't want to do right now and it will completely get rid of the sheet and I could also make a new sheet by clicking this insert worksheet button convenient okay I can go back to the sheet here um, so this is just some basic navigation of course you got the scrolling things you used to zooming in and out different views so sometimes you'll inherit someone else's sheet and you'll be in some weird view like this where you're not used to and just know that you can go back to the normal view down here bottom right you go back into the normal view where maybe you're more used to so don't get flustered by that okay here's the formula bar and I guess that's a subject for another video but this was just some basic useful techniques I find a lot of people that I'm teaching 
don't have yet, even though they've moved on to the formulas and functions. Okay, so become extremely helpful. All right, so subscribe to my channel, comment, like, and share. Until next time, practice, 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 and let me know if there's any other topics that you want me to cover. Thanks a lot.